good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome tinkercad tutorial so let's get cracking friends a user reached out saying hey how do you make the tinkercad logo i've got a strategy so here we go of course first we're gonna name it it'll be tinkercad logo we are gonna build it with a cube when you bring this cube out i'm gonna tell you to make it white and then I'm also going to tell you to change the height. We will keep the 20, but we'll change the height to 3 and press enter. We are going to use the ruler today and pick any line. And then we want this to go to 0 distance away. And we want this one to be 0 distance away. So it has just snapped to that corner. Now watch this, friends. We're going to do control D. And we're going to use the arrows to nudge this where we want. So see how it's exactly the same, 20 and 20? We're gonna put two clicks in between it, and then we're gonna do Control D one more time. Check it out, they are spaced evenly. Well, now we're gonna select all of those, still with the ruler on. We're gonna do Control D. This time we're gonna nudge back. Notice it shows us that we've got it exactly at zero, zero. We don't click anywhere else. I'm gonna go two more clicks, one, two, and we're gonna do Control D again, it memorizes that movement and we have got the Tinkercad logo bricks just that fast. I'm going to dismiss the ruler right now. Let's color them real quick. You could find perfect colors by using a pick tool. I'm just going to come close. I'm going to go red. I'm going to pick the dark orange for this one. I'm going to pick the normal orange for this one. You can have fun trying to get those perfect. I'm just showing you how to build it. Here is the first green. This one's going to be a funky green, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this green, switch to custom, and then I'm going to try and find it out here, that kind of greenish yellow they've got. You can adjust this a little bit to get more towards it. I think I'm going to call that good. And then finally, this one is some sort of yellowish. I'm going to try that one. Once again, I'm going to go to custom and just adjust this until I think I've got it close to the exact color. I will go with that. Finally down here, we've got the blues. I'm gonna start with this blue. Then I'm gonna switch to this blue. I'm gonna go to custom, see if I can get it a little bit closer. I think that's reasonable. And then finally, let's do the last blue. I think that is gonna be dandy. Once again, you could use a color pick tool to track those down exactly. But hey, this one is fun fast, and let's wrap it up. We need to bring out letters. Once again, because of cruising, we can just set them right on. Let's do the letter T. Of course, it does need to be capitalized. Notice this one has all the fancy tails. We don't want that. If we go to Sans, then we've got the Tinkercad logo, and we just need to make it fit. I'm gonna do that by doing Shift, Squeeze, and getting it so it looks pretty decent. Then I'm going to take this, make it white, change the height. I'm going to say 1.5 and press enter. And then I want to align those. So I am doing, so I'm simply selecting the two of them, doing L for align, make the red one the boss, bingo, bango, there is my T. Now to line the rest of these up, I'm going to do control D, shift nudge. That looks pretty good. Control D, notice it moves to the exact spot. Let's select all three of those with shift click and do control D. I'm gonna shift click twice down, get them in the middle and one more control D, bang, our letters are in place. Let's do the changing, I'm gonna turn on caps lock. So there is my, and swap those out with I-N-K-E-R-C-A-D. Now to align these, check this out. Straight line, L for align. Make the blue one the boss, bingo. Those are in place. Same thing here, just select this row, L for align, blue one's boss, bingo. And finally the bottom, select them all. L for align, blue one's the boss, bingo. Now we do wanna double check this way too. L for align, edges the boss, center. L for align, that one's already good. And let's check the last ones. O for align and bingo. We have got our awesome Tinkercad logo just 
like that. Now friends, the more of these I see shared, the better. So let me show you how to do it first. I'm gonna make the background look a lot cooler. I'm gonna change it to a color. Let's go with this light green. And then I'm going to shut off the grid, close the settings, and we are ready to publish. To publish it is so simple. Simply go back to your Tinkercad workspace, click up on the gear, choose properties. Of course, friends, make sure you give it a name. I'm going to put in the description the tutorial is coming soon. Add tags. Don't forget, friends, if you add the tag HLMT23, I check that tag almost every day. And of course, if I see your design, I'll give it a reaction. Friends, after that, you do need to make it public. And then finally, I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Finally, friends, hit save changes, and the whole world will be able to check out your epic Tinkercad logo. Of course, friends, I do want to highlight the Tinkercad gallery because you made that public. The first thing you see when you click it are the staff picks. They are always awesome. Friends, if you find one of my designs, there will be a tutorial likely in the description, and those reactions are appreciated. I always love to shut off the staff picks, though. Switch to the larger grid and quickly check out everybody's fantastic designs. So many fun creations. Check this one out. Somebody actually has the built-in logo and a bird. That is absolutely awesome, and I'm gonna give it an awesome. Scroll down just a tiny bit. Check out that wicked cute pumpkin. I'm gonna give it a wow. And of course, let's check this one out. It is a sweet Halloween giving it an awesome check out those eyeballs don't forget friends your design will show up pretty darn soon of course those reactions are always appreciated you'll find my tutorials right here and then finally if you want to see all of my designs you can simply click on my username and you'll instantly see all of my designs sorted by reactions of course whichever one you click on will have a built-in tutorial those reactions are always appreciated and even cooler if you make something awesome make sure you take time to share it with me finally friends you can also instantly switch from reactions to recent and bingo you'll be able to see all the coolest projects i've been working on lately Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.